Hey guys, Thunderset here, and today we are doing a revisit of Gaia, except this time we're pumping in a lot of Chaos Dragon, Leviathan. We're even using Melody of Awakening Dragon to serve as a fourth copy of Chaos Dragon, Leviathan. We're using a bunch of Light and Dark, well really a bunch of Dark here. Only Light is Gaia the Magical Knight. Our Fierce Gaia is Dark. Dragonfire is dark. We're using Sphere Crew, but that's dark. So sometimes you're gonna be just summoning your Leviathan through all dark. I think all dark is shuffle one random card from your opponent's hand into the deck. Not bad, but you're probably gonna just summon it to attack. But still, you'll you'll often get your Magical Knight in the graveyard since it's your core play, and then you're able to get your Leviathan out to destroy some cards. And then we fit the whole core of Gaia in with it. We have Forbidden Chalice still in there, an extra copy with Gateway, and then our Galloping Gaia to finish off the skill. We've run some more Xyz with Heretic since our Fierce is level 8, Leviathan is level 8, we'll get it off sometimes. And then I just don't want to leave anywhere without Princess Sprite when you have level 1s in your deck, but uh, generally you're never going to summon her. Still though, pretty cool deck, uh, definitely cog worthy, gets the first half of a little win streak here, so pretty cool stuff to see, still very strong, deciding what deck I'm gonna cog, maybe something Gaia related, we'll have to see, hope you guys enjoy, and thanks for watching. Alright, here we are facing a Jack Atlas, We're going second, a little bit of a win streak here. So we got a Leviathan plus our Melody of Dragon Awakening. We've set two. He set two. We're going Melody, we throw away our Dragon Leviathan. Search two more, send one of them back. Get our Galloping Gaia. Great use of our resources there. Then we search our Magical Knight. Really popping off. There goes Magical Knight, special summon. Dragonfire, obviously. Now our boy's gonna use his Econ Take. Grabs our Magical Knight. Not a huge deal. Now he's bringing out a Force Resonator and a Red Warg. Normal summons the Wandering King Wildwind. Rising Red Res or Red Rising Dragon. So I have a Spear Boy, but I'm gonna let him clear all my monsters. I thought I'd be able to get a Leviathan off, because we have a Leviathan. And then I had two more. I thought for sure we'd be able to special summon. A Chaos Dragon, but we weren't able to, so we just search our Dragon Fire. We're just gonna have to survive with a Spear Boy. Should be fine though, as he's in top deck mode. So we just take the Red Rising Dragon. Now we hit him with Spear Boy. We get another Spear Boy, but we're gonna Galloping Guy into our Magical. So Magical goes first, summons the Dragon Fire. That's one Gaia. Now we can banish three. Now we're able to summon the Chaos Dragons. Really don't know what was preventing me that last turn. Destroy both his monsters. Special summon another. Xyz into a Heratic. Didn't even need to. Pretty much just a flex. We even had a fierce Gaia swing. Just flexing over him. Not really needed. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Yum Yugi. We're going first. A little casual rank up. Now we have a Leviathan. We have our Galloping. Set our Forbidden Chalice and a Sphere Kribo for some actual protection. Now here he's starting with Fairy Magician Girl. We'll be able to Forbidden Chalice her effect or the better case scenario we'll have a Galloping Gaia and we'll be able to negate it completely with a Gaia on the Monster Zone. So uh, here we have Forbidden Chalice. We're gonna use that on Chocolate Magician Girl. We have two Forbidden Chalice right now. He's gonna take some damage because he keeps choosing not to attack with his Fairy Magician Girl for some reason. Top deck, our third Forbidden Chalice. So, uh... It'll be a rough duel. He's gonna Tribute Summon a Dark Magician Girl. I have Timeus, the Dark Magician Girl Dragonite. So that's a back row. We're gonna hit her with the Sphere Boy. Now we get a gateway to chaos that's gonna search our magical knight. She's gonna try to quick play destroy it, but we hit her with that forbidden chalice. 
finally coming in handy. We finally search our magical knight. Now we can use our galloping, search our dragon fire, and now we're off to the races. So uh, we already have a spear boy in our graveyard. So we get a guy on the field, our dragon fire on the field. Now they're both in the graveyard. That's our magical knight. Then here comes Chaos Dragon Levioneer. We're gonna destroy his Dark Magician Girl and a Magician's Navigation back there. Then we're able to swing over the Berry Magician Girl normally because of Galloping Gaia. And uh, even if you use Forbidden Chalice on Chaos Dragon Levioneer, he still can't attack. So he didn't have lethal, but he scooped. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Yami Yugi. We're going. Uh, First. He's on a two win streak. He's got 28 cards there. He's using Power of Dark. We have our Galloping Gaia in hand already, so we're gonna just use it. No need to use the skill. We search our Fierce Knight. Start with Magical Gaia. Dragonfire destroys his Yami. Alright, and then we pass our turn, so we do have a Forbidden Chalice. We use our guy's effect to destroy a Karma Cut in the end of his main phase. He was able to continue his main phase and set another card, likely a bluff, or he would have set it before. But we'll see where it goes. We get another search off with Galloping Gaia. Now we're gonna swing, we hit him for 3,000 with the Forbidden Chalice. Now we use our Fierce Knight come out and hit him for lethal was definitely a bluff down there. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Seto Kaiba. We're going second. He's showing ultimate dragons. So we have our Dragonfire and Magical Knight already. He sets a monster. We're gonna Dragon's Path away our Gateway to Chaos and just bring out Galamping Gaia. Search our Fierce Knight, and now that's a lethal amount of damage over that defense monster with this Forbidden Chalice, because we're just going to make our Dragonite. He's going to destroy that face down. Now we get our attack back, plus some with Forbidden Chalice, and we bring out the Fierce Knight to finish off the lethal. Can't have those weak first turn Blue Eyes plays against this deck. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Trudge. Going second. Let's our boys go. We got a dragon fire. We got a forbidden chalice. He passes his turn, so he really can't do that. We're gonna dragon path a chaos of Ionir away. We search our magical knight with our dragon fire. There's magical knight, special summon the dragon fire. We already have our fierce knight, so it's a lethal in a box, guys. We, uh, the only way it could be more perfect with this little combo is if Galloping Gaia supported Soldier Gaia the Fierce Knight and they weren't able to use effects on this last swing. He didn't have any effects, but he wasn't able to use any on the first swing. He could have used some on the second, didn't have any. Still an easy beat. So uh, this deck is definitely cog-worthy, very, very strong. Even with all these Chaos Dragon Levioneers, it doesn't even feel like too many. I'm sure you don't need essentially four copies of it but uh it's just so strong guys really digging it definitely tier worthy so hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching